guys welcome back to the vlog and so we're gonna finally drive to barcelona we're gonna do it by step so actually driving to barcelona is gonna take around 11 hours if you were to stop to eat something for 30 minutes or so so we decided that the best was to just drive and stop midway and it happens it was just quite long that midway like driving right now six hours and tomorrow five hours is um the family house in soria so right now we're just gonna drive to soria everything is packed in the car everything that we own is here masha is quite comfortable in her seat but yeah we're on our own now so i hope that you guys enjoy this it's gonna be mainly like car but we are arriving to the house we're probably gonna go to eat something at the town and driving tomorrow to barcelona we're gonna stay at an airbnb then start apartment hunting but i hope that you guys enjoy this vlog the scenery while driving is always beautiful so i hope that you guys like that and for now miss girl very very comfortable we even have a blanket in case she gets cold but i don't really think so um and she has all her toys so how do you feel that we're finally driving to barcelona very excited so it's been like 20 minutes driving but we want to stop to have something to eat we didn't have breakfast everything was closed when we left so um yeah let's go for something to eat and possibly coffee So they don't let us go in with Masha. So we're having breakfast in the car. Here's the espresso. I also got a uh, pine chocolate. <laughs> really, really good. because he wants to watch the Formula 1 because priorities so I just hope that we arrive in like 20 minutes or so and we are here it was around like 7 hours but we're here so we're just gonna unpack the car, um, rest a little bit, and then we're gonna go out to have lunch. My only issue with this dog is that she never comes when I call her, and she's around. And this is the last of it that we need to change today. Why are you always running in this house? We took out of the car the things that we kind of needed to pass the night, like, you know, for showering, change of clothes, and right now we're going to have dinner because I'm honestly starving, so let's go to the town. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time. Just enjoy the ride A new man passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it, somewhere I can find myself Oh, I feel like Hi guys, good morning, and today from the bathroom and 
we're gonna drive to Barcelona like in an hour or two and I caved in and I got the new Dyson I went straight to buy the new one and I wanted to show it to you in case anyone is interested if it's actually better and honestly I think that if you have long hair it might be worth it for you so I'm just gonna get my hair done and let's see how I like the barrels because the last ones were quite short and I never really used them so this is the new one and I got the one that's in silver with this like bronze so I would definitely say that this works way better than the other Dyson for me because the barrels are bigger and I have a ton of her. I didn't really put much effort and time into it because I'm a little bit in a hurry because I want to pack again and I need to put some finishing touches on the video that I need to upload today while we are on the road but I'm gonna do it better after I wash my hair probably when we're at the Airbnb so I can try to do that but it also comes with this attachment I think this one is like for smoothing out the hair and it comes with the regular ones i get my favorite and the one that i use all the time is this one but i'm quite happy with the results right now i can tell you that for me it was definitely worth it to switch from the other one to this one this is how it turned out like i do want to repack my bags like this is like the last step before arriving to Barcelona so tonight we're gonna sleep already in Barcelona and that excites me so so much I'm just so tired of living up the same couple of shirts that I have on the top of the luggage because I've been living from my suitcases for the longest time and every time that I unpack them and I pack in I start to get a lot of anxiety so I decided that I was gonna put a couple of clothing pieces and I was gonna be washing them at least for this week that it's gonna be like go to a new place and then pack again go to a new place and then pack again so that's that's what you need to know. One thing that I'm excited about this video is that it's very kindly sponsored by Samorga. And Samorga is a brand that makes organizers for designer handbags. So the one that I want to talk about is my Chanel Deville. Because this bag has been saving me during this trip more because of the organizer, Polo and I, we usually call it the vortex because everything gets lost inside. Since it's just like a massive bag, everything can get lost inside if you have a lot of things. And right now I have inside my computer, my iPad, passport, charging battery. I have handbags here. Like I have my two clothes right now inside here. So you can see that with the organizer, it kind of looks put together. Also, I have papers. So definitely, I would highly recommend anyone who has a handbag that you're having issues that every time that you put your keys inside or you want to put a water bottle inside and it gets spilled and all things like that. I love having an organizer because it has like 12 extra pockets and you can put there a lot of things. I'm going to show you the organizer so you can see it. This is the bag without the organizer. It's just super squishy, no form to it at all. Everything gets lost and right now you can see the organizer a little bit better. So here it has a compartment for a bottle so it doesn't spill. You have to and yeah you can see that I have like pretty much all my stuff here and then it has this extra ones, the large ones for paperwork. I'm the same when it comes to my book tote. I cannot really use that bag without an organizer and I have them for my Kelly's, my Birkins, my classic flaps. Some bags I highly recommend you to get one because it prevents scratches on the interior especially from keys i don't know pants i think we have learned our lesson with pants so i would definitely recommend you to go check out samorga and i do have a discount code and it's loot 20 so feel free to use it in case you're interested in getting organizers for your handbags and samorga thank you so much for sponsoring my video i'm super happy and stressed with this move and honestly i feel like i don't know this is my idea I feel like some of you might be like, oh my gosh, just arrived to Barcelona already and I'm the same. I've been feeling this need to finally have like my own space and my own place because I've been from here to there, from here to there. And as much fun as it has been, it starts to get a little bit overwhelming and I don't have a space properly to film. Like right now I'm on the floor and I just want my apartment and I want to find restaurants. I'm really happy to be living here though. I've been walking alone at the streets at night with Masha and that for me is so so big but yeah I don't want to rumble too much right now I'm gonna finish packing this up and I'm gonna finish editing the video that I'm supposed to upload today because you guys see everything like two weeks 
after it happens because I need the time to edit it. So today that I'm filming this, I'm going to post the video where I fly to Spain that this was two weeks ago. So I'm really excited to see the Airbnb. The owner was really nice and it's pet friendly. So that for me is quite big. It's not in the middle of the city because we couldn't find much. Like honestly, everything feels like everything was booked. I know that it's still kind of summer, but I was hoping that we would be able to find more things that were pet friendly, but sadly, no. And tomorrow, okay, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna see four or five different apartments. So I will, of course, not show like the street uh, privacy thing, you know, but I'm gonna show you a couple of the apartments. And of course, we're gonna go through the journey of, of furnishing all of it. Really excited about that. I hope that you guys like home interior and that stuff because I'm definitely gonna have a blast filming and making content about furnishing the apartment and also going out here and there. Um, the other thing that I wanted to discuss on this video, but by the time that I post it, it's gonna be too late, probably. I don't know. So I got invited to Fashion Week again in Paris, to Paris Fashion Week by two brands, but I feel like I'm overwhelmed and that I have a lot going on. Paul is not even gonna be in Spain during Fashion Week, so I would have to go alone. I don't even have furniture yet at that point. And where do I leave Masha? I really wanna go, but last time I was very anxious and I feel like if I go right now, it's gonna be very high anxiety too. So I don't wanna push myself when I probably need to slow down. So for me, Fashion Week is something that I always wanted to do. And when I went to Milan Fashion Week, I was probably freaking out most of the time that I didn't even wanna try to go to other things. Like I went to one event and that was it. I didn't wanna do anything else because I was like, okay, baby steps, maybe slowly I'm gonna be more comfortable, shalala. And right now I get invited to two things and I just don't know what to do. I feel like the timing is not the best, but I feel like it's an opportunity. I don't wanna push myself in that sense just to be on fashion week when life is so crazy right now. So I'm gonna go edit and then we're gonna go grab lunch and start driving to Barcelona. Hope you guys enjoy. So I'm gonna go downstairs and start editing. So we're done and we're going. I think the next time that we come here, it's probably going to be to pick up the furniture. So saying goodbye to the house for now, but hoping that we can come soon. So let's go. Bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I find my way. It's really good that we actually stopped yesterday because yesterday it was a seven hour drive and today it was like four, five hours, four and a half probably. It would have been too much in one go. So I will update you when we get to the Airbnb and tomorrow we start apartment hunting. I think the only thing that we're gonna go out for today would be to have dinner and eat sushi. A, yeah, sushi. So we'll catch you up on that and we hope that the sushi is good. What are the top three things that you want to eat in Barcelona in the first week? Sushi. That's quite clear. Okay, yes. Cerveceria Catalana. Okay. Really good. I don't know. I want to have a kebab. A kebab? Yeah. In Barcelona. We have to find something. Yeah, we need to find a good kebab place. And what about going to the beach? I'm dying to go to the beach. I feel like I need it. Well, we can go when we find an apartment. Yeah, the... that's going to be a long time. We are almost there, 32 minutes. 
Hey guys, so we're at the Airbnb and we have a mess. We are gonna unpack and then we're gonna go have sushi for dinner because we really want sushi. Masha is quite happy. She does have a balcony. So the place is really, really nice and the lighting too. So this is gonna be good for a couple of videos while we find a new apartment. Masha has been super happy. She loves the Airbnb. She's very comfortable. So for everyone that asks me about her, she's doing great. So I decided to change really quick and I did put my Van Cleef on and we're gonna go into the city. We're gonna have dinner and turns out that one of Polo's uncles, he is here and he wants to go have dinner with us. He doesn't live here, he's just visiting. So we're gonna take the train because we don't wanna take the car and we're gonna have dinner in Barcelona. So I hope to show you a little bit about the train ride and how it is. Um, right now, like we're staying outside of the city. So it's gonna be like a 40 minute train, I think. Tomorrow we start apartment hunting. So tomorrow I'm gonna start another vlog to apartment hunt with you guys yeah i'm excited so let's go have dinner because i'm starving we can pretend that we're just friends yeah but who are we kidding I am willing 